with an ambitious goal of transforming Leeds city centre. So the ambassadors are welcoming and greeting people around the city, but also been there to assist and help people who live and work in Leeds. the street rangers who are going around cleaning the streets. That's going to be an ongoing service that the bid is providing for the city. exciting part about the purple flag is it gives that accreditation and recognition to all of the businesses, restaurants, bars that have got involved and taken part and worked closely with the bids and the city and the council and the police to make that happen. It covers a whole area to make sure that our nighttime economy for people that maybe live in Leeds, the outskirts of Leeds or are travelling from overseas uh, can come into Leeds and feel safe and secure in, in a really um, well kept professional area. What we do is Indian Gujarati street food and craft beer. We got involved with the Eat Leeds Restaurant Week because we recognised that it was they were putting on a great offer, it was great value and it gave the people an opportunity to eat in restaurants that they may not have eaten in before. We're working really hard to increase the cultural identity of this area of the city and Leeds Bid are working really closely with us on that have been really brilliant in terms of wanting to enhance, transform and kind of celebrate uh, what we do and help us communicate the festival um, to a much wider audience and also on a national platform. City Less Grey is about the combination of a real big, bold, kind of sort of large pieces and stuff that's in the in the little alleyways because that's what gives a real narrative to a city and says something different about it. So at Brentwood we've, we've always believed that our role doesn't stop at the front door of the building which we are developing. It goes much wider into the city. For us it was about really kind of putting a stamp on Leeds and saying actually as a city it's time for us to embrace street art and to ignite some colour into our city. So initially we were just looking at a small area on the side of the building. A nomad clan pointed to the full east gable uh, and said what about that? And that's where it started. Leeds Bid has helped with placemaking, especially for us because we sit just by Dortmund Square. Uh, we've had a working group set up so we've talked about how we can improve Dortmund Square. And the knock-on effect from that is that all the businesses now surrounding Dortmund Square are collaborating in other ways. We held the superposition here in the shopping centre and this is a collaboration of arts and scientists culminating in a 12-day event. And we were put together or introduced by the Leeds bid and it's been a fantastic opportunity for us and as you can see on the back of that we've managed to get other exhibitions and other people interested in our vacant space. Working with bid is nothing but refreshing. They are passionate about what they do, they're passionate about the city, they're passionate about how they can invest in people to kind of invest back into their city and how they can kind of support people on multiple levels. We see working with BID as a collaborative process. It's, not, it's one thing kind of having the idea, but it's another thing understanding the infrastructure 
of how that can kind of go out and permeate the city and what little tweaks that we can make or they can make to kind of get the best out of the project. The doers, they believe in what they do and they inspire me, basically. I think one of the things that I'm really proud about is promoting diversity in tech. Women make up 50% of uh, consumers and yet unfortunately only sort of 17% of people who work in technology are females. Technology plays a part in nearly all of our lives now, both working and personal. So I was really proud to put on the Empowering Women with Tech conference this year at the Leeds International Festival. Being part of the International Festival and showcasing the tech seen not only in Leeds but actually internationally and how Leeds is at the forefront a lot of this stuff has been you know an absolute privilege. It's amazing that Leeds Bid have, have really supported this in all aspects of it. to Leeds is a platform that showcases like, the very best of what's happening in Leeds. It's primarily a website which houses a lot of content like videos, galleries, podcasts and articles and things like that and they ask people to contribute to that site to give an insight into what Leeds is like to live and to visit. We were involved in creating the website, creating the brand identity for them. Where the bid comes in is that they promote the square, they move it forward, they work with the city council to get events into the square, they cherish the square along with all the other occupiers in it. Um, so we're proud that the bid are involved with the square now. They're, they're involved at a number of levels. If you were down here in the summer you would have seen the, uh, the big TV screen uh, showing Wimbledon. The Leeds bid really helped out. So they provided a screen, and some lovely black deck chairs which went really well, they looked lovely. Um, and they also, anyone asking in the city centre where they could watch the map, they would let them know that it was on here. The big project we're working with Leeds Bid on at the moment is called Segway, which sits alongside the Audio and Radio Industry Awards or the Arias. And alongside the big arena award ceremony, there are a series of fringe events. So our venue is being used for an event called the Business of Radio. And the same evening we're hosting Scott Mills, who will be in conversation. And that's proven to be incredibly popular. in the bid because it's a platform where we can be ambitious and I think we have been ambitious and I think we've only just kind of scratched the surface. We've already achieved some fantastic projects. I think things are only going to get bigger, stronger and more exciting really. Our business improvement districts are incredibly important because um, it always reminds me of that old Unison advert when you'd have the ant walking along and it would try and get the elephant to move and it was like, excuse me, excuse me, and it wouldn't move. Uh, and then you have a thousand ants come together and they're like, excuse me! Uh, that is what the bid does. So basically it brings a collective of, of businesses together to work with local authorities and to get action and to make things happen. Mm -hmm.